Keeping track of all of your notes from your lectures, from meetings and things like that can be kind of challenging. This is a quick template I came up with to help organize things between lectures, modules and topics, so let's dive in. Subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay part of the conversation. For free Notion templates, check out the link in the description below. I've created this template for demonstration purposes and for downloadable purposes, so it's not full of loads of information. As you can see at the top, we have the topics and the modules that relate to those specific topics. So if we need to look at a specific topic, it's right there. Then below we have a gallery view with all of the modules that I would be studying. And below that is a database with all of the lectures. Essentially this could be used as a revision timetable, as tracking, you could use it however you want. This is how I've laid it out because this is how I've used it. As you can see, I've got the lectures related to the modules, which I'll go into a little bit more depth in a minute, but I like to see what module the lecture is related to so I know potentially who's going to be lecturing me. And then at the bottom of my workspace, I have my flashcards, which relate to lectures, topics, modules, anything that I need to remember, it's in my flashcards and right there. So let's go ahead and pretend I've got another topic so we can add that topic in that list database view right at the top. I could add the modules and lectures in right there if I knew what they were, but I'm gonna leave that blank for the moment. If I go into the module database and add in a module, I can then click on the new module template and what that does is it brings up a linked database for the lectures that are in that module. Now I can manually put in that relation to whatever topic this module is related to and then when I go into the lectures database I can add in a lecture and that lecture will automatically be related to the module that I'm in and will be given the day that I'm doing it. So when I go into that lecture all of that is sorted for me. Then when I open up that page, I can then go onto the new lecture template. And what it will do is show me the flashcard link database. I can then write down all of my notes from that lecture. I can use all the shortcuts that I showed in a previous video. And then when I'm going over those lecture notes, maybe there's something I want to remember, something I need to revise. I can add a flashcard in right there and it's already related to that lecture. So I can go back to that lecture if I need to refine that question. I can then add in a preset template which will automatically put in the module and the topic that they're related to. What this means is now I have the topic, the module, the lecture and the flashcards all related. So whenever I'm searching for anything, it's all within a couple of clicks. You can also see whenever I add a flashcard at the bottom, I can associate that with a specific module or topic, but it won't be from a lecture because I've just thought of it. If you wanted to plan ahead, you could just go into the calendar view and add in the lecture. The date will automatically be put in and you'll have that lecture template there. But if I go to a specific view, go to the module one view, then add a lecture in, it will have that module one relation already there, have the date there, I can then add the flashcards there and everything is already related and sorted for me. Whatever I change this lecture to, you can see the relation name changes as well. You can see the flashcard is down the bottom, and the lecture is related to the module, so I can see what lectures are related to specific modules. If you're interested to learn more about space repetition and active recall in Notion, have a look at this video over here. I'll see you there.